Okay, yeah. So, so hi everybody. I'm uh, I'm Jack Deslip. I'm the application performance lead at NERSC, and it's my uh, real pleasure here to to welcome you today to the the GPUs for Science Day. This event uh, started about four years ago as an idea at a lunch with myself, uh, the the nurse division director, and our division postdocs. And, you know, I think the postdocs were really excited about the upcoming Perlmutter system at the time and the potential of NERSC's first GPU accelerated system to impact science. And so that group of postdocs proposed this idea for GPU for Science Day. They, they planned it and organized the event, assembling, I think, a really fantastic set of speakers um, to cover a, a whole bunch of different topics in, um, you know, GPU science acceleration. So NERSC has held two such GPU for Science Day events in this way. And uh, after a two year break, we are back with the third installment. And, um, you know, I think it's never been more clear that GPUs really dominate the HPC landscape. Um, the now systems at um, NERSC and Oak Ridge and Argonne Leadership Computing Facilities are all fielding systems powered by GPU accelerators, um, you know, from, from all of NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel, including the you know, number one system in the world now, front, Frontier. Um, and so we are here today to both celebrate the science that has uh, kind of made good on the promise of GPUs in scientific research and discovery, and also to prepare to make the most of the opportunities yet to come. So the majority of the agenda will showcase about 10 science application teams um, sharing their firsthand experiences and best practices on porting to GPUs. And we hope that this knowledge and lessons learned can be really adapted to users' own applications. Um, and uh, we'll hear today from three major compiler teams working to harness GPUs. We'll hear about multiple programming languages and frameworks for programming GPUs, including uh, performance portable techniques to target multiple GPU architectures. Um, one thing I want to highlight is that the space of GPU technologies is now pretty vast. So I'll, I'll kind of apologize ahead of time for all of the worthy topics in the space that we will not cover today. This will sort of be but a taste of the thriving HPC GPU ecosystem that, that has emerged. Um, and so I want to thank the sort of an, the, the new generation of early career staff at NERSC who have led the organization of today's program. So that includes Neil Mehta, Druva Kolkarni, Soham Ghosh, Felix Whitmore, and of course, I want to thank Helen He, our training lead here at NERSC for organizing this event and really a week full of great events uh, this week. And I would encourage you all to return tomorrow again for uh, the, the, the first of two days of, of day to days. Um, and so since our last GPU for Science Day, the Perlmutter system at NERSC has um, uh, been deployed and our user community has really quickly taken to the system in a big way. We've seen uh, Gordon Bell finalist projects utilize the system. We've seen high impact science results, such as the first EXA op, ab initio molecular dynamics calculations. And we've seen super facility data analysis acceleration uh, we see transformative AI methods utilizing the machine learning capabilities of GPUs in many different science areas. Um, and, you know, we designed Perlmutter as a system optimized for science. And so it's really exciting, uh, you know, tremendously exciting, I think, to see, to see that play out. Um, so again, welcome to GPU for Science Day. And I think without further ado, I'd like to pass the baton over to Jay Srinivasan, who is the Perlmutter project lead to actually tell you a little bit about the Perlmutter, the Perlmutter system itself. Um, 
So I think uh, take it away, Jay.